I know last time out you, you didn't get the result that you were looking for. Um, give me an idea what the, what the emotion's been like since that time, kind of what it's been like building back to this point. Well, I mean, coming back to this point, uh, for me, it's just been about getting better. You know what I mean? I've, anytime after you lose, you, get, you kind of have two choices. You know, either uh, you know, sit there and sulk about uh, losing and, and, and get down about it, or you dust yourself off and get up and get better. And that's exactly what I did. You know, last time I lost, I went in one ten straight. So uh, I'm just the kind of guy that, that doesn't really get down about stuff like that. You know, it was uh, I look at it like it's a speed bump on a long journey. So um, I'm, a, I'm a better athlete now because of that fight. I know people always say you, you learn more from losses, but nobody wants to lose. But I mean, in some ways, do you feel like, yeah, you know what, this, this made me look at some things and change some things? Absolutely. I mean, everyone in the sport is going to take an L. You know, it doesn't matter. Everyone in MMA is going to take an L. So it, it's, it, this isn't boxing. And for me, I feel like it was the, the absolute best time for me to take that loss uh, because of, you know, where the division's going and where I'm going. And, you know, moving forward, uh, like I said, that loss is going to be like the catapult for me to, you know, kind of push myself to the, that, that next level that I need to be at. Yeah. What do you think about this matchup? Because the guy has, uh, I, I think, a great record, great skill, but I don't necessarily has the respect maybe that he deserves, maybe the name value. So when they came to you with this name, what, what did you think? Um, I mean, I've, I've, watched, I've watched Perez fight. I think the reason that he doesn't really have the, 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 the respect is because he hasn't really fought like elite top 10 guys you know he, he's fought a, he's fought he's fought I mean some tough opponents and he is he is tough uh, in his own right but he hasn't he hasn't went out there and and, and fought anyone in the top 10 you know like I have uh, you know he's got what eight UFC fights and he's fought one guy that was ranked you know I have this would be my fifth UFC fight and this would be my third guy that's ranked so uh, you know I think his road has been a lot uh, you know, easier than mine has. You know what I mean? I, I climbed fast, and uh, you know he hasn't faced uh, a competitor like me yet, uh, and he's going to get a taste of what uh, the next level of MMA is like on Saturday night. What's what's the focus? What's the goal for you going out there? I mean, is it just getting back in the wind calm and, and putting that one behind you, or do you feel like you got to do something extra special to get your name back where it was? What what is the focus? Uh, focus is winning, 100% just winning. You know, I, I really put a lot of pressure on myself to go out and knock Sterling out. Um, and then, you know, that was dumb, and I fought, a, I fought a, a diff, different than I should have. And, you know, this fight, it's just about winning, you know, making, making people fight my fight. That's what I'm good at. Um, and not, you know, being in uh, my feelings, just, just going out there and, and, and doing what I know to do. You know, I believe I can be Alejandro Perez anywhere I want to. You know, I can take him down and grind him out if I want to. You know, I can beat him up on our feet. Uh, and I'm just going to see where the fight takes me because I just know that I'm better everywhere than he is.